Hello friends, welcome to this video program. Today we will discuss the self-made tool and standardized tool that we use in our research. You see for conducting any project, any dissertation or any type of research for our academic purpose that may be a type of project in your graduation, a master dissertation or a dissertation in your MPhil or PhD. We use certain tools for getting data. Further, we have to analyze that data and we have to reach at the findings. So you see, uh, maybe in the subject of education or maybe in the subject of uh, any subject of social science, uh, you can say in anthropology, you can say in psychology, you can say in sociology, in economics, in political science, we use certain tool for uh, doing our research. So mostly we use two type of tool. One is called as the self-made tool and other is called as the standardized tool. In this program, today uh, we will try to discuss that uh, uh, what is the concept of a self-made tool and what is the concept of a standardized tool. And uh, what are the difference between these two concepts of self-made and standardized tool. Friends, you see self-made tool is used in a very limited area, whereas a standardized tool is used in a very large area or wider area. I am just putting one example. Let a teacher when preparing a test for the students to whom he or she is teaching every day. Let a teacher is teaching to 40 students in a class. If he or she is preparing a test for knowing the progress of the students, their performance, so the teacher can prepare a self-made tool. Whereas for preparing a standardized tool, you see the test that the teacher is preparing, that is not only applicable in a very limited situation, rather that can be applicable for a wider situation, for a large situa situation means that can be uh, used uh, in any place, uh, you can say in any situation. Okay. So uh, the second difference, uh, we can say that a self-made tool is prepared by any person uh, who has certain knowledge in test preparation or rather you can say uh, uh, a teacher, a teacher who is dealing the student, dealing certain curriculum, dealing the issue of teaching learning process as well as dealing curriculum, they can prepare a self-made tool to know the performance of their students. Whereas for preparing a standardized tool, uh, generally the text specialist or the subject specialist uh, uh, who knows about the process of test standardization, means what are the steps uh, should be followed for preparing a test and uh, uh, to standardize it, uh, they prepare or they develop, they construct the standardized tool. You see, uh, for preparing a self-made tool, rigorous procedures are not followed. Okay, So, when a teacher is preparing a test for his or her student, so by following the curriculum or the uh, uh, test material courses of study, that uh, that is meant for a particular class by referring that material that course uh, the teacher can prepare a test whereas all the steps of test standardization are followed for standardizing a test just like you see uh, the reliability of a test in a standardized test definitely the reliability index should be established then the validity of a test the usability of the test then the objectivity of the test and the most important aspect is to know the norm of the test and to establish the norm of the test. So all these five criteria that I have discussed that is the reliability, validity, usability, objectivity and norm are definitely established, definitely defined in a standardized test. The next point uh, uh, we will discuss that uh, the difficulty level of the items. You see, for preparing a self-made tool, 
Difficulty level of items depends upon the standard of teaching. Let a teacher is preparing a self-made tool for his or her student. So what should be the difficulty value of the items or all of, of the questions uh, that have been taken in the test? So here you see the difficulty level of the item uh, may be very difficulty or may be very easy or may be average in standard. It depends upon the nature and standard of teaching. You see, let a dedicated teacher, uh, he or she has completed uh, uh, his curriculum in a very proper way. Uh, uh, you know, all the points of the curriculum has been taught properly. Okay, so uh, he or she has engaged, the teacher has engaged the students in the process of teaching and learning. And uh, many activities, many, uh, uh, you can say other assignments, uh, that has been given to the students means what I mean to say if the teacher has involved uh, wholeheartedly and uh, touched each and every point of the curriculum then definitely the test may be a hard test means uh, uh, difficult items may be taken and if the teacher has uh, just touched the surface level of the content not entered the uh, deeper part of the content then in this case the items may be uh, uh, you can say a little less difficult or easy in nature okay and again if the standard of teaching is in average standard then you can say the items may be average so first of all what i mean to say the item uh, item difficulty in a self-made tool is depends upon the standard of the teaching it may be difficult test it may be average test or it may be a easy test also. But so far as standardized test is concerned, you see always we have to take the average difficulty items or average difficulty questions for the standardized test. Because when we are preparing a standardized test, this is prepared for a huge population. This is prepared for a large area, you can say. And this is the characteristics of any population you can take students of any standard, you can take student of any grade, any subject. You will find that uh, as per the norm of normal probability curve, norm of normality, you will find most of the students are average in standard so far as their performance is concerned. Okay, And you will find very small group of students or very small proportion or small percentage of students are lying in both the extremes you can say either they are very bright excellent in their performance or very poor or dull so that's why keeping in consideration of most of the students uh, who are average in standard so this they should take the benefit of it so that's why the items that has been taken in a standardized tool are average difficulty in nature that should not be highly difficult or that should not be so easy then again we will discuss when we prepare a self-made tool norm is not developed okay but developing a norm is very much essential for constructing a standardized tool so let us try to understand what is a norm so a norm may be a edge norm you can say a norm may be a grade norm a norm may be a percentile norm a norm may be a uh, you can say a habitation norm you see in edge norm let we have prepared certain tool only for boys that can be used only for boys we have prepared certain tool that can be used only for girls and we have prepared certain tool let that can be used in a co-education situ uh, situation means that can be used both on the boys as well as for the girls so here you have to uh, develop the gender norm whether that will be used for co-education situation or only for the boys or only for the girls then again you have to establish a type of age or a standard norm let you have prepared a, a tool which is applicable for uh, eighth to tenth uh, you can say standard student means those are studying in eighth ninth and tenth uh, they will uh, attend that test. This test is for them only. Let again, 
uh, if you are taking the age group let 11 12 and 13 or 12 13 and 14 let you have developed a tool for 12 13 and 14 age group students it means that cannot be used uh, upon the students those are not in the 12th age group and that cannot be used upon the students uh, those are not in the 14th age group okay so above 14th and below 12th age group students that test will not be used that test will be used only 12 13 and 14 age group students then again percentile let in a test uh, uh, you might have gone through certain standardized tool uh, if you go through the manual you will find that uh, somewhere this has mentioned that this is the percentile score of uh, the tool the standardized tool means that is the percentile norm okay so let in a tool the one level has fixed that is 60 as example that is 60 means uh, the subject who will score at least a 60 mark or 60 score in that test will considered as uh, you can say favorable in their uh, uh, certain skill certain attitude and those have scored let, uh, less than 60 they are not considered as favorable so here this percentile norm means one level will be marked and that level will be determined about your skill so a percentile norm can be developed so what uh, I'm saying that uh, it may be a habitation norm, whether the test will be used in the rural population or the urban population, or that can be equally applicable both for rural and urban. Okay, so habitation norm, age norm, grade norm, gender norm, and percentile norm are developed in a standardized tool, but that is not developed in a self-made tool. So particularly if I will give certain example, then you can say that uh, the unit test that a teacher use to know the mastery of the students, the progress of the students, or you can say the learning progress of the students. That is the example of a self-made tool or quarterly examination test. Even if the term and examination means semester and examination in a school, in a school, in a particular class, if it is not a board exam, then you can say that is a type of self-made tool. But uh, uh, in standardized tool, we can give the example like a, a test of board examination. Let CBSE takes examination every year across the country. Okay. So uh, the 10th board questions or the 12th board questions which is prepared that is implemented in on huge group of students, maybe lakhs of students across the country. So that's why when the test is applicable for huge area, large group of students, Especially for the board examination, even if for conducting the research also. Okay, if you are preparing a type of uh, general mental ability test, intelligent test, achievement test, aptitude test, so you can go for standardizing that tool. Okay, so this is the example of uh, a self-made tool and a standardized tool. Again, one more difference that is there is the possibility of presence of subjectivity of a test. Uh, which is uh, which is a self-made test and uh, uh, you see in a standardized tool uh, the tests are usually maintain the objectivity okay so in uh, in self-made tool the result that you are getting after employing the tool you cannot say that you are getting a very objective result okay so subjectivity is required means the test score may be very testing to testing if you uh, administer that test again and again you will not get a consistent result uh, you may not get a dependable result okay you may not get a stable result but so far as standardized uh, test is concerned so because the reliability validity and other uh, criteria has already been developed in that test so you can say that certain objectivity is there and i have already told you Objectivity is one of the criteria of a standardized tool. So friends, today we discuss about the concept of a self-made tool and a standardized tool. So when you are doing your research, you can better decide that uh, whether you are going to use a standardized tool and uh, whether you are uh, going to uh, use uh, a self-made tool by preparing yourself. So it should depends upon your nature of the research. 
next session we will discuss about the process of standardization and uh, uh, what are the criteria for uh, uh, developing a tool and uh, how to uh, you know uh, use that criteria and how that criteria uh, should be developed thank you